Now, Americans know that Washington has a spending problem. It's hurting families, it's hurting small businesses, and it must be addressed. Uh, there are many people in Washington, though, who believe that uh, the government, uh, who don't believe the government has a spending problem. You've got the minority leader and the minority whip uh, who don't believe that uh, we've got a spending problem. The president told me directly back in December, we don't have a spending problem. In the nearly four years since uh, Senate Democrats last uh, passed a budget, government spending has driven our national debt uh, to over $16 trillion. That's more than $52,000 for every man, woman, and child in our country. Uh, and I don't believe the debt is a result of insufficient taxation. This year, the federal government uh, will bring in revenue more money in from the taxpayers than any year in our history. And the debt uh, uh, is a result, I believe, of spending that's out of control. I think the spending problem that we have here in Washington is threatening the future for our kids and our grandkids and, frankly, threatening the American dream. Uh, last year, we proposed uh, generating new revenue through tax reform. Uh, we did that as an alternative to the president's demand for higher tax rates. Ultimately, the president got his revenues and he got it his way uh, through higher rates. And given those facts, uh, the revenue issue is now closed. Uh, any revenue generated by closing loopholes should be used to lower rates across the board for American families. Uh, that will create jobs and make America more competitive. So the choice is simple. Uh, should tax reform focus more on funding government or on creating jobs? I'm for more jobs.